How you doing folks? It's Ryan from Ryan's Bathing Tools. Got a beauty showcase today. A lot of noise going on, a lot of work going on. Uh, and you'll hear uh, a lot of noises, so hopefully it don't get too loud. I'm sweating the thumb wet. I was working in the yard here and uh, there's equipment. Working in the yard here. And uh, I started using my land tractor and uh, the belt broke on it. And uh, so we're gonna get the service to fix that. Uh, all right, that's it. I was here to do the beer. How much about the history of it? Nice and sunny as anything, and suddenly a big rain cloud came over, and it was raining pretty hard. Well, here's a beer we're showcasing today, as you can see, from Down the Road Beer Company, Sonnet Double IPA. There's a song that's real nice out down the road. LA. Break down in the desert and get stuck beside the highway. Get along, along down the road. We got a long, long way. Oh, nice to song. Go. Now, this is uh, double IPA is from Down the Road Beer Company, which is located in Everett, Massachusetts, over by uh, Charlestown section of Boston, which is the southern, northern part of uh, Boston, Charlestown section. And touching that is Everett, Everett, Mass. All right. Uh, Let's see if we get some information on this uh, brewery. Not much on their webpage. Uh, it was founded in uh, 2015. And the head brewer and the founder was uh, Mr. Donovan Bailey. It's located at 199 Ashland Street, Everett, Mass. Uh, known phone number on it right now. Uh, a couple other gentlemen take note on the, the brewery here. Mr. Brendan Von Voris, I don't know what his job is there, and uh, Mr. Frank Buckley. Uh, Mr. Frank Buckley is located in Stonehill, maybe he's a salesman in, uh, in that region of in, uh, Mr. Ben Voris, down the Buzzards Bay area. Frank Buckley in the, in the Wakefield area, I think Mr. Frank Buckley in the Wakefield area, I think. But anyways, uh, that's the beer. This is a double IPA at 8.5% ABV. The hops in this a Galaxy, Simcoe, Sim, Citra, and Amarillo. Galaxy, Galaxy, Simcoe, Citra, and Amarillo. The yeast is proprietary. A lot of breweries are doing that now. Um, yeah, I'll stick with the hat. It's tough seeing. Uh, this nice to, hat to work in, but to do stuff, it's hard to, to see. But anyways, <laughs> I'll, I'll go changing hats all the time. Uh, at the proprietary yeast, a lot of uh, breweries are using their own yeast that they they produce. The malts in this are a two-row pale, golden promise, and uh, barley flakes. So on a rotating base, that um, golden promise, let's see what gets me for on that, do we know? Go, yeah, golden promise, that, that is a, a basically a classic British spring malt. It's a spring barley, and it's, it's uh, the word on that, it's mellow, sweet, sweet flavors, and so forth. Can you hear the rain? We're under a big umbrella here. It's raining, if you can hear the rain. All right, no further ado, there's much information to give on this. Uh, time for a cold beer. Time for beer. Down the Road Brewery. Me and my loving wife went there. That's what I've got, I almost got to say. Visited the brewery, nice brewery, nice tap room. On one side of the wall, it's all pinball machines, a nice bar. We, I, we didn't get to going back to the... Um, working area where the fermenters are and, and all the tanks and so forth. There was only one lady there working at the time, the barmaid, and she was the only one working, oh, getting some of those hops. And she couldn't, uh, Wow. Look at that. 
stay there. Try to we didn't buy any fruit beers or have any. Uh, and um, I was driving, and we can't drive and drunk or have been drinking, particularly in Massachusetts. Uh, but anyways, on the way home, we stopped and picked up some of their brew at Cappy's over there in Cambridge, I think it is. Cambridge or Medford? Medford, I think. All right, here's the glass. No further ado. Down the road, down the road. A nice song with that. Uh, down the road. Picking up on the hops, those Simcoe hops, the Citra hops. Oh, it's, as you can see, it's hazy, hazy orange. Hazy orange, off white head. Not a bad head on it. Let's see what the retention is on it. Okay, with that said, here's what I have. I'm getting a close up on this a little later. I'm going to have these with it. Yep. That's what it is. Grass fed. It's free range, gluten free, and soy free. It's pasture raised. This is what it looks like. Just the info on it. Uh, venison. I'm not a hunter. Uh, and I don't knock hunting. I just don't hunt. I don't fish. <laughs> I just drive uh, trucks and cars and work on uh, tools and so forth. Alright, this is a hunter's original recipe tender venison steak. Alright. So I'm going to have this with this fine looking beer. I guess I should uh, finish the review. Fruiting, get some fruitiness out of this. Pineapple, the tropical ar aroma. Definitely a tropical fruit. The orange must be from orange or tangerine. Biscuity, that, that malt, that biscuity malt. Give me a touch, right amount of touch of uh, alcohol. Alright, no further ado. Bottoms up. Uh, I needed that. Uh, when I walked over here, I just drank a whole whole bottle of water, 12 ounce bottle of water, right down. Nice cold water. I wasn't too cold. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that is good. That um, follows the aromas. Citrusy. Malty. There's a little more malty than I thought. There's no bitterness to this. I'm not picking up on any alcohol notes or flavors. Uh... So I'm saying here, Beer Advocate gave a 4.13 out of 5 on this. So that's a very, really exceptional rating. Okay. Now, I don't want to cut this shot. Sure. Sana, double IPA. Sana is the mystical uh, goddess of the sun. If you're into uh, that kind of stuff, the mythical stuff and so forth. Mm. All right, let's see what this is like. Take that off. Oh, oh it's, it's chunks. It's uh, chunks. Oh, squares. That's what it looks like. I so like the... My, my son, the number one son actually, picks up a lot of the uh, beef jerkies and so forth. I get to try them. He's always, always buying them. All right, here's the venison. Never had venison before. I did once. We know once a cousin was a hunter. Mm. It's, um, if you had beef jerky, Slight, 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 different flavor. It just says, um, eat how you live, wild and free. Unleash your wild side with the meat bite that is consistent with the evolutionary diet of our ancestors. I do that. How the ancestors, they had a hunt to survive. Our original hunter's recipe 
tender venison steak. Steak. I put the glasses up. Venison steak bites are based on a simple recipe that allows the natural flavor of deer meat to shine through and through. A tribute to the classic venison jerky recipe. These bites will teleport your taste buds to a unique can <laughs> carnivore. Unique can <laughs> not carnival. <laughs> a unique car carnivore experience and make it easier for you to consume a wholesome protein often not found in the grocery store. True. 100% grass-fed and free-range venison steak not only connects you directly to the wild, but is guaranteed to inspire your greatest adventures. Eat how you live, wild and free. Not bad. I mean, it's a little bit of an aftertaste, but I don't know if that's what they, the sauces they put on this. Or what they marinate it in. But um, try this again. Another, another piece. Uh, spin in the refrigerator. This is the way things are. Mm. Will I get this again? Probably not. I mean, you may get it. If you had a barbecue, family, and friends are as a novelty. There's just too many other beef jerky on the market. And I'm not always buying them, but. I saw this, and actually my wife saw this, and we picked it up to do with uh, a baby room. Normally I'm eating day chips or nuts or something else. But uh, back to the baby view. This is a, a good tasting beer. It's drinkable. Got some malt in this to it, some tropical fruit. Sit them, the sit the hops them out. Excuse me for chewing while I'm talking. Um, you have anything else to say? No. Wasn't much information on their webpage. But uh, they have a fine beer. They have a fine location over there. I'm going to read it for you. 199 Ashland Street, Everett, Mass. Over by the Charlestown section of Boston. Mm. Mm. Route 99. <laughs> I'm sticking to my gums. Route 99 will take right by uh, near the vicinity of it. Route 99. Without a Sullivan Square in Boston. It heads towards Everett, vice versa. Uh, sometimes called, I think, Broadway Street in uh, when you get into Everett. So with that said, I will get this again. And try some of their other brews. They have a lot of other brews. They have a fantastic brewery there in Tap Room. Mm, a lot of games. Got a chance to visit. You live in the area or you're a tourist to the Boston area. Go visit Down the Road Brewery Beer Company. And uh, enjoy your visit if you're tourists here. Lexington and Concord, that whole region there. But, anyways, go up to Gloucester. It's nice up there. Go down the Cape. Uh, we're going down the Cape in a few days here. We're going to uh, my number one son's down there. We're going to go down and visit uh, him and his family, his, 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 his sweetheart's family. And uh, all right, with that said, enjoy the day, folks. Going to drink, drink responsible. Don't drive. Ciao.